fucked up, dude. Then we drove to New Orleans, which was fucking awesome. Yeah. We um so I went with Aaron, a good friend of mine, and we've been listening to this series of detective novels on audiobook. Yeah. And I know John, you said you had never seen Buffy or Angel, correct? Yeah, I've never seen that show. Do you know Buffy any of the characters at all or just uh, mm. I know that chick from Buffy. Okay. That's about sure. it. Sure. Sarah uh, Michelle, Michelle Geller. Geller, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Phil, are you familiar with the show at all? Yeah, I. It was on like what Channel Nine at, uh, yeah, growing up all like, the time. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, think I ever watched one. So, do you remember the blonde vampire? It was a guy. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. So his name was Spike, and he's played by an actor named uh, James Marsters, and he narrates these books, which is why Aaron and I started listening to them yeah. because we love Buffy and we're like, fuck yeah, James Marsters. Did you, did you guys like rent a car? No, Aaron lives down in Austin. Really? Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. I must have. Uh, f- that's something I must have forgot because <laughs> I, I knew Aaron really well. Uh, so, so yeah, no, he's been down there for like a year or so. So we took his car and we listened to this detective novel, narrated by Spike the Vampire, and the series of books is called The Dresden Files, and it's like these gritty detective books. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Uh, but it's about a private eye who's also a wizard. Yeah, and he's really, really rude to women, and fights demons and vampires and werewolves. Yeah, and it's so fucking funny, like so we absolutely love it. So we listen to one on the way there, and we get to New Orleans, and uh, long story short, we wind up befriending a pedicab driver, who you know, like the bicycle taxi people. Yeah, and so she takes us under her wing, and like just shows us the town. And the next morning, you know, like the uh, the night we drive in, we just go to like four bars, I guess. I don't remember most of it. But the next morning, she is taking us on a tour of the French Quarter. And she explains the new hustle in New Orleans. And what happens is... Is that a dance move? <laughs> do the new hustle. Do, 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 do. No, but uh, people on the street will ask you, hey, man. I bet I can guess where you got those shoes. And if they catch your attention, you say, oh, yeah, where? They'll say, the street. And then they'll beat the shit out of you and mug you. And she was like, if anyone says that to you, you just keep walking. Don't don't what? pay them any mind. Yeah. Are you being serious right now? Dead fucking serious. That, hey, man, where did you get those shoes? Or no. That hey, so- man. That, that sounds like a uh, scene in like a 90s like gang movie. That Where'd you get your Nikes, boy? Yeah. Hey, man, I bet I can guess where you got those shoes. Oh, yeah, where? The streets. And then they just kick your ass and take your shoes. Yeah. And your wallet and everything else. You so know, ever just, since I heard that rumor in Chicago, hmm. I made sure I had the shittiest, horrible-looking fucking shoes. Yeah. Man, Hope I don't know if you saw my ass. shoes, but I've got sweet new Adidas classic Ooh, kickers. Yeah. And so I was like, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Um but that was cool. When we were in Louisiana, we had traditional Cajun food, like hot dogs and pizza. Because the, we were down there, and I realized that it had been almost a week since I had had pizza. Yeah. And, you know, being from Chicago, like, that shit doesn't fly. I was like, man, I just need a slice. That's all I need. Yeah. Then I swear to God, I'll never need it again. Just one slice, and then I'm cool, man. So we went, we got pizza. I saw the Mississippi River, um, and it was... Fucking awesome. I love New Orleans. Have you yeah, guys ever been there? I've never been there. Oh, man. It's it's so nice. I don't know. I think it was really cool because we got the local experience. But um, that was cool. Spoon was in town. Ooh. They were playing the House of Blues. And I was like, nah, man, we got a House of Blues in Chicago. Yeah, fuck They that. have House of Blues in New Orleans, too? Yeah, dude. There's House like of Blues everywhere. everywhere. There's yeah. House really? of Blues everywhere. Yeah, it's isn't, okay. isn't that uh, owned by Sylvester Stone or Arnold? Like the House of Blues mm, chain? Or am maybe. I thinking of, pl- oh, I'm thinking of Planet Hollywood. I think you're right, yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. I don't think Planet Hollywood exists anymore. I yeah. think there's one in Vegas, no? Well, that is the one coming, you asshole. <laughs> it's probably the only one. <laughs> Get fucked up, dude.